So first I started with the serum base that uh, I made. Just a pluck saw rounded, pretty simple. And uh, just got some diode distortion filter. What Crystal Castles always does, they use a plucky sub and they do these octaves. So every offbeat is an octave up and that sounds like this. And I'm just using a 671 progression, just the most basic progression that there is. Next in this intro, I've got this hi-hat. And it sounds kind of weird and sporadic. Once I play it or with this four on the floor kick, it should make a little more sense. And then I've got this snare, which I actually took from a cashmere fill. It's really like the tone of it. So I just took it, chopped it, put a little fade on the end, and then I got a snare. And all the drums in this beginning part together. Then down here, I bring in two more drum sounds. First, this 808 clap. And this shaker, which I just have the velocities rolling up. That sounds like this. And all of those playing together sounds like this. The biggest thing in Crystal Castle songs is the vocal chops. And now, unfortunately, I am not Alice Glass, so I had to uh, work around that. So I started with this vocal. Somewhere I can reach cause it's far away. Somewhere I can be away for better than. And it does not matter if it's good or not cause you're gonna chop it anyway. So then I put it in Melodyne, I put it in Octave Up, and I formant shifted it up to make it sound a little more female. And that sounds like this. Somewhere I can reach cause it's far away. It's very rough, so I exported it out and pitched it up two semitones. And I pitched the whole project up two semitones. And the vocal with no processing sounds like this. Somewhere I can reach cause it's far away. So I added a parametric EQ, it's taken out bass and high. CLA vocals on the moody preset. I just turned down the reverb and delay, turned up the widener a bit. Another EQ just making it even smaller in the frequency range. Then a fresh air to add more mids and a pan man panning it around. And I took this vocal and to chop it, I used a mixture of these chop presets in FL. So like, for example, just grab this one and then shorten these a bit and and then I'll use these and rearrange them through that process I came up with this I also added this transition and normally it's this long. I just hit this or shift M on your keyboard and dragged it to about here. And then I added a delay just on the ping pong preset and a little radio EQ. And that sounds like this. And I added another little impact, which is this cashmere zip. And I have it, same effect, same mixer, and that, that sounds like this. So this whole beginning section together sounds like this.
So now for the drop. The only two things that I'm adding in the drop are this serum, which is just a analog sign and another analog sign. This one's an octave up and FM'd. It just gives it more harmonics. So without it, and with it, then for even more harmonics, I added this down sample distortion and I moved the drive until it was like in key with what I'm playing. I've got a little bit of portamento, little bit of delay. For this pattern, you just want it to be very simple and repetitive. I've got a little sprinkle here where it changes in the second half, but in the beginning, it's just a very simple two or three note melody and it sounds like this. And I came up with that just playing on my keyboard like this. Just smashing notes. And pro tip, if you right click on this little keyboard here, you can set it to whatever key you're trying to play in. And now, it's impossible to play out a key. You can still play wrong notes, but you can't play out a key. And the second thing that I add in this drop section is this saw, which just fades in with this envelope, the filter and the wavetable position on the rounded. I just have it slowly pulsing in, and that sounds like this. And the biggest thing with Crystal Castles is you don't want to use any crazy sounds or do anything super complicated. You just want to keep it nice and dry and simple. I have all the melodies routed to a bus with kickstart so that they're all sidechained to the kick. The drop sounds like this. Also, I forgot to mention this hi-hat here, which in the beginning is playing this sporadic pattern, changes to play this the same pattern as the shaker in the intro. But that's about it. Here's the whole thing.